This has been 10 minutes of me talking about poo poo and saliva and farts. So welcome to my channel. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and... <laughs> what have I turned into? What have I continued to do? Hi, it's present day me. Um, I was looking through footage on my computer and realized that I had a few vlogs that I never edited from the end of last year. And I thought, why just throw it away? I might as well make a vlog of it and put it up, even if it is a little older and a few months behind. But in order to get to present day vlogs, I need to go ahead and put these up, get them out there. I didn't wanna just delete the footage. There's still some fun stuff in there, like my family and I made tamales for Thanksgiving which was quite uh, the fun time. I documented all of that. <laughs> um, also, look at our house right now in California. This is another thing that I need to do some videos on, which I would love to do. So if you guys would like that, let me know. But if you guys enjoy the vlogs, nonetheless, give this video a thumbs up and enjoy this blast from the past. The time has come, my little friends. <laughs> Alice in Wonderland. Um, I literally am about to post on my Instagram account for the first time in four months. And I've got so many emotions coming through and going through my body right now. Um, it's crazy. I just feel a little rushed. Like I was going to do this last Thursday and then um, I was just not prepared and not ready. So I was like, oh, I'm going to push it to next week. So now I'm going to do it. And it's just exciting more than anything. Um, but I, uh, what time is it? It's six o'clock and I need to, randomly, a lot of you guys on Instagram are in New York, the majority of you, um, which I find so interesting and awesome. Um, I kind of thought it'd be West Coast. So I gotta post this before I gotta go to the UPS store um, right now and pick up my packages. But, oh, I actually have some packages to open. Maybe we'll do that on camera, it'll be kind of fun. Um, but I also have to pee really bad, so let's post this. Ah! What are you grilling about? Are you getting excited too? Okay, let's do it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, I just posted it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So crazy. <gasps> Ooh, don't go. Don't Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The last time I posted was June 11th. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, this is so crazy. There's two comments. They're both very sweet. <laughs> I can pin three comments now? So much stuff has happened. Pinning an Instagram comment is simple. Swipe the comment that you want to pin to the left. Oh, you can't pin your own comment, cool. <laughs> That's why it wasn't working. <laughs> okay, so, dude, Piper drinks water so fast. I have to fill this up like every day. Um, there are so many little gnats around my house right now and I have no idea why. It could be because of this. My dishwasher, so a guy came to look at my dishwasher because it wasn't drying super well, like literally a week ago. And now no water will come to the dishwasher. So kind of annoying. I don't know if it's something that heated or what, but I wanted to take you guys to my appointment because um, I thought it would be interesting. Oh, she's got the zoomies. But um, I, I was running a little late and I just didn't, uh, there was like five people around me watching because there was a training session, but I just got my cheeks filled up a little bit as well as my jawline. You can kind of see a little bit here. Um, to sharpen this up a little bit typically. So they did a training session on me. So um, I didn't end up actually paying for it, which was really awesome. What are you guys doing? <laughs> but um, so they typically will do three syringes in a jawline, I guess I learned today. And they did one and a half on me. So this morning started off really rough. I'm gonna go into my bedroom right now. I need to go to bed, um, turn off my tree. <sighs> So this morning started, so this whole week I've been interviewing people for Arctic Fox. I have been doing ads. I've been doing website banners. I've been doing emails. I've been looking at other emails that our marketing director is doing. I have been uh, posting on Instagram. I've been posting on you, um, Twitter, Facebook, uh, all that stuff for Arctic Fox and myself. 
Um, I have been shipping out packages of makeup to friends of mine because I just have so much makeup here. Um, and I've just been so just doing Arctic Fox for what feels like 18 hours a day for seven days a week for the past few. I mean, it's, it's kind of always been like that. It's like always like that when you're in your business, but it's been extra crazy lately. The day that I was talking about yesterday, that was <laughs> so awful. Nick bought me and sent me like, I don't know how he got this done so quickly, but sent me these gorgeous fall flowers. Like this is just such a pretty like bouquet. Like it's just so simple, but yet like so pretty, like all these different flowers. <laughs> One of the first things I thought of too is like, I could rip these off and feed it to my iguana. Um, and he sent me this sweet little note. I'm upstairs. I look really weird right now because I don't have any lips on lashes or brows, but um, I'm finally filming my thoughts on Claire Crowley and The Bachelor, Rhett, because I know a lot of you guys aren't watching it, but <laughs> um, that is, will actually probably be out before this video because I have not been vlogging much because I don't have anything to talk about. I'm out of espresso. There was just a weird man on like a, a bird scooter like in my driveway. Like he had like a Fu Manchu kind of a mustache, like handlebars and like a mullet. What was he doing on my driveway? I'll never know. Ooh, this is an espresso. It's like um, pumpkin spice kind of like coffee one. And it smells really good. It tastes really good. Like smells like fall without being sweet. You know what I mean? Like if I put some, oh, if I put some sugar in this, it'd be so great. Look who I just picked up from the airport. This is one of my besties, Teresa. Um, we just got some Coronas. Oh, which, which cuisine did you pick out? The Red Door Saloon. Nice. Cheers. Oh, it is a national one, right? Yeah. Cute. Look at her collection of koozies. You need to I show know. these. I've never seen someone with so many cozies. <laughs> like, this is cute. OG. It's from a bowling alley in Nashville. I mean, you have so many. Do you like collect them? Oops. I kind of like, okay, so what happened actually is my friend um, Jess, she, I was, I posted on my story that I had no koozies. Oh, I know Jess, right? From Silky? A uh, different Jess. Oh. <laughs> um, she lives here and she saw that I had no koozies on my story. So she came over and brought a bunch. So I inherited like a few of those. You should like keep going with this collection and be funny. I like, be, oh, like, thanks for oh, organizing that. Be, I know, I'm like. <laughs> shot first and then so yeah, we walk down first. this. I heard that swish around in your mouth and I was like, oh. It is Halloween. We went out to brunch this morning, Teresa and I, and then um, we just got ready. We had a nap actually, we were crashing. And then we got ready and now we are just heading out to dinner and then we're gonna come back here and watch a movie on my deck upstairs. Keep it pretty low key. I didn't feel like dressing up this year. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Um, so I did get these at, let's see if you can see these better in the dark. I got these at Disneyland a while ago. And this switches from color to color, so I think I might just wear these. Pipe Eagle Potty, hi. Did you wanna dress up for Halloween? Look, you could be a little devil. Oh my gosh, I need to go change. Why, how dry it? Okay, no, show me the whole thing. <laughs> She's got her freaking hoeing outfit. I don't this Dude, okay. I'm wearing a mustaches rule t-shirt with <laughs> vans. Okay, I'm definitely gonna go put a dress on. Hang on, we gotta fix this. Okay, I just changed. <laughs> I feel like yes. my nipple is gonna pop out or... I hope so. My vagina, one of the two. I need to get like a little one without like the straps so I can wear under stuff. Anyways, let's do this. We went out to dinner, got some really good sushi, and now we're about to watch. The Vich. The Vich. It She's sounds never like. I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Apparently, it came out a few years ago or something, and it's like extremely I told her it was scary. It's the scariest movie I've ever seen, which I still stand by. This is a good so. angle for me. <laughs> Screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> Like the bitch, <laughs> the bitch. <laughs> yeah, some people call you that. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, we're going to watch it in bed. Oh, I'm the bitch of San Diego. No, you're the bitch of the mariachi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got cheese, man. I literally posted a picture, an outfit picture of me in a dress, and you could see all the deodorant, white deodorant marks along the side because when I put it on. <laughs> you know. And I just made that part of my caption. And I just know someone's going to. Say it first. Screenshot. Say it fucking first. That there's white like, deodorant in my armpit? Yeah, be like that co- that white Costco deodorant. Hashtag. <laughs> no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put like, I'm going to put a caption and I'm going to make it angled enough to where right when it's on there, I'll work on it. I'll you should just it. own that fucking white deodorant armpit. She, we had those um, horns on, and hers, like, went crazy. Like, they wouldn't do, like, the slow rotation of color. They just, like, started do- doing that. And they're still doing that on the kitchen counter because we can't turn them off. Really? <laughs> yeah. That's a metaphor for my life right there. Same. They don't work, but they're still going. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, isn't it cool that we can have sleepovers now without asking our moms in sixth grade? Who asked? <laughs> we just I had to. I know. You know what? My dad still remembers. I remember when your uh, Christmas mom would drop her off <laughs> and he would, she would like do a warning. Like, yeah, she's been, you know, real moody lately. Oh, and my dad would just stand there <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> and then she would just like, you know, blurt out everything wrong you've been doing all week to my parents. Just having a little therapy session. <laughs> This is the first And then we were probably upstairs making a MySpace profile. (laughs) No, bitch. We were making a banana and strawberry fucking milkshake. Solaku came to visit me. My friend Teresa dropped her off at the airport yesterday. This guy was uh, super hungover all day and could not get out of bed, so... I'm alive today. Still want to go to Mexico real bad. We're talking about moving to Mexico. Where are we going today? Um... Pound Town? (laughs) <laughs> you look so single. Look at the back of his neck right now. I need to fix this. Whenever you see a guy with this, it means they're single. Except for this guy. <laughs> We're going to North Carolina for the North first Carolina? time ever. Sweet. Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. Uh, uh. So we're packing up to leave. And Leo just won't get out of the car. Monkey, you're not coming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I love you. What a nice note Nick left for me. <laughs> I just got off the phone with um, a naturopath doctor who my friend sees and she had a lot of really great information for me. So I've been having some like health issues related to stress and um, my digestive system just not really like kind of working properly. So uh, she had some information for me, which I was excited about. So I'm going to do a poop test, which will be interesting. (laughs) Um, And I just got a massage, which I needed so badly. Like the masseuse was like, dude, you're, you shouldn't say dude. (laughs) I said, dude. She's like, you're carrying so much stress in your back. And I was like, I know. I have been more stressed lately than I almost have in my entire life. Um, Probably moving might have been slightly more, but close. Um, (laughs) So, yeah, we're uh, hanging out at the Biltmore. This place is rad. Like, I haven't really been vlogging much because I've just kind of been enjoying the time and haven't wanted to really carry the camera around but it is so beautiful like North Carolina is gorgeous it is so pretty here uh Nick left a little bit ago with his cousin he was supposed to text me where they were going to eat but he hasn't texted me so I'm like getting close to just ordering some room service because I'm hungry um so hopefully he texts me back I'm gonna put some lashes on and then we'll go out Friend Anthony's here, and we just decided that finally, after all of these fucking years, what is it? It's almost been a decade, right? That we've been talking about getting this tattoo. Not a decade since we talked about the tattoo, but it's been a fucking while. Over a decade. Yeah. What's the tattoo? I'm not sure yet. Something about 1920s. <laughs> you fucking know. The thing is, I don't know where to put this tattoo. It's gonna be pretty small, but like, all of, like, my arm has all these like little random spots, but I don't want it there. 
Like, it's not gonna fit there. I don't know where to put it. We'll figure it out. Like, you know, I always thought about that. I didn't know which one to make, you know? <laughs> yeah. Here it is. What color? Line work. Are you gonna get color? That's what we're gonna do, right? Are you gonna get teal? I was kind of thinking that. But to match your neck? Yeah. What about you? Are you just gonna do black? I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I don't know yet. Not I sure. like line work in different colors. I think it's kind of cool looking. I'll have to think about what color I would do if I do do a color. Well, I guess it depends what arm you're putting on. If it's going on that one, it probably just be black, right? If it goes on this arm, I'll do black. If it goes on this arm, maybe I'll do... So you were thinking teal? I think so. Yeah. Maybe I'll do like a blue. Tattoo. Like a bluish. Yeah. Actually, if she gets if she gets blue, you should get red. But that's you know like a like a three D fucking. Pick All right. Ladies first. Really? I'm a gentleman. I'm never ready for a fucking new tattoo. Right, that shit hurts. Go huh? for it. Feels like shit still. <laughs> Just like it used to. Huh? Yep. She is finished. Yeah. She looks real good. I like the color. It's rad. Cool. Sweet. Where the fuck is Aaron at? Where the fuck is Aaron at? You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. <clears throat> Just did a poop collection sample in here. It's pretty gross. Good morning, friends. I'm about to feed the dogs. Um, my week has just been filled with grossness. <laughs> I, uh, this is probably gonna be a little bit TMI for some people, but if you're watching my channel, if you're brand new, there's a hair on the lens. Um, just FYI, a lot of my social media is TMI and I talk about things that some other people aren't comfortable talking about. <laughs> but, um, I have been going through some health stuff. Sorry, it's so loud. Um, some health stuff, um, talked a little bit about it in some YouTube videos on, oh geez, the door like just closed on me. Fuck you. Fuck you. So I have dealt with like digestive issues, I guess you could say. In other words, too much gas production in my system, basically my whole life. And I just used to think this is how life is. And as I've gotten older and it's like affected so many things. Like I don't even want to share bedrooms with people because my stomach hurts and I have to hold in, you know, and it's just like so uncomfortable. And it used to really fuck with my dating life too. Um, and so I've tried all the probiotics in the world that are out there. I have tried everything, you name it. I've tried it except for what I'm trying now. Um, also, like, this is so aesthetic. Like, look at this and this and everything. <laughs> um, so, like, my whole life I've also struggled with the fact that anytime I'm out and about, I get so tired and I kind of just want to go home. Like, even if I'm having fun. And I always thought that that was because I was an introvert. Um, people confuse introvert with being shy. I'm not a shy person. I used to be when I was little. But I'm not an introvert in that sense, but I'm an introvert in the fact that like when I'm out, people's energy, like they take my energy and I feel depleted and I get tired early, but like I'm only 31, I shouldn't be getting tired so early and I'm finding it hard to have the ambition. I have all the ambition in the world to work for the most part, like I work my ass off and maybe that's why I'm more tired in other areas, but I lack the ambition and like drive to like want to get up and do things. Um, and a good example is I go to the river. I've been camping at the river since I was like two years old, three years old. And even though going on the boat and packing a cooler full of beer and snacks and stuff is going to be the most fun thing. If I'm sitting on the motorhome couch in my parents' motorhome, I will be so lazy that I won't even want to get up and go because I'll just want to sit there. And like, that is not a way to live your life. And so the more that I've been like learning that Western doctors, this is my opinion and this is like a popular opinion out there if you've watched a lot of documentaries, but 
I never realized that they basically just put a band-aid on things and give you medicine to fix things, but they typically end up giving you more problems because I'm the type of person that I wanna figure out what the root of the issue is. If I have too much bacteria going on and a bacteria overload, I wanna know that and fix it, not just take a supplement so my gas goes away. All my blood work is fine, but now I, this morning, yesterday I did a, a saliva sample for the testosterone and that was so disgusting. Like saliva makes me want to gag. Like does your, okay, TMI again right now, if you are underage, skip forward a few seconds, but have you ever been having sex and the dude like spits down there or like, it, I'm like, mm, no, oh my gosh, stop. Don't ever do that again. Nicholas, I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, no, TMI, but that is just, I, Saliva is just so disgusting, I can't do saliva. So almost puked doing that. This morning was no different. I um, did a stool sample and I kind of thought that I was just gonna have to like do one quick little thing and no, bitch, there were four tubes and a fit, um, four little tubes, like little fat ones, and then like a long skinny one. And I literally had to put saran wrap on the toilet, my doctor suggested this, and put like, you know what, like at the, the baseball games where you get the little nachos and that little, paper thing. Yeah, I had to crap into one of those and scoop it into all these things and I almost vomited. This has been 10 minutes of me talking about poo poo and saliva and farts. So welcome to my channel. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and... <laughs> what have I turned into? What have I continued to do?